Amazing. Who have you brought with you? Um, my mum's in the audience and my dad's backstage. Okay, brilliant. Do you feel nervous or are you quite confident? I'm a bit nervous. What has made you want to come on Britain's Got Talent? My dad inspired me to start the magic because he was a magician. Do you love Harry Potter? Because I do. Yeah. It's my favourite. Mm. Yeah. I got interested in magic because I just thought it was really cool. If you won, you could perform in front of the royal family. I'm a bit scared now. <laughs> I'm a bit scared now. I sometimes perform magic to my friends. Do you ever do magic in class when you're meant to be doing your maths? Um, sometimes. If you won and you got the quarter of a million, what are you going to buy? Lego, Snickers and Sprite. <laughs> over a hundred words that describe emotions that people can feel when they watch magic. Amanda, can you please join me up on stage? <laughs> on your way up, can you please pick up a piece of paper and look at it? Don't let anyone else see and don't tell me. Okay. Can you please sit here? French from the Magic Circle Young Magicians Club. The Young Magicians Club. We're going to do some magic that should hopefully blow your mind. Behind us is a framework containing 16 holes that fit a Rubik's Cube exactly. Each of my friends is holding a Rubik's Cube, which, like you, they're randomly mixing. At any point, Amanda, I would like to stop it from your Rubik's Cube. When you do, in a loud voice, please say stop and hold your cube high in the air. Stop. Now, Amanda, mm. there are 200 quintillion ways that a Rubik's Cube can be mixed. All the cubes are mixed in a different way that nobody could possibly know. Everyone in the audience, if you've got a phone, can you please switch the torch on and hold it high in the air? Sometimes I feel like throwing my hands up in the air. I know I can count on you. Sometimes I feel like saying, Lord, I just don't care. But you've got the love I need to see me through. some more or leave it as it is. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now before this all began, when you had first sat down with me, I asked you to pick a word. What was that word? It was love.
Unbelievable. I mean, seriously, unbelievable. I mean, what was so weird was we were talking and kidding with each other about Harry Potter, and then it was like a Harry Potter movie on that stage. That is magic. I mean, unbelievable. It really was. What fantastic showmanship. The magic was amazing. Fabulous. Well done. You have magical powers and you need to be stopped. Um, <laughs> no, it was incredible. It was a great audition. You should be very, very proud of yourself. You're super confident. Got lots of personality, and that's one of the most important things when you're a magician. You've Can kind I of just got to see what's behind your fridge? <laughs> So yeah, you've got everything going for you. Because your magic's good, you've got a great personality, you've got good stage presence. Um, it was a really good audition, so well done. I'm going to start by saying yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Absolutely, four gigantic yeses. If you want Absolutely brilliant. They're oh, definitely imagining you. We've got to keep an eye out for you. Well done. Well done. Really brilliant. Now, I don't know how we got that in there. It was magic, darling. It was magic. It was magic.